Jury selection ban began today for the trial of Derek Chauvin, the police officer accused of killing George Floyd. We warned you last night just how combustible a situation this is. But the remarks of one potential juror today really hit that point home. If uh, individ certain individuals that were, were out to, to intimidate or, or cause harm, I mean, they, if they knew where I lived, I mean, it's potential they could, you know, do damage to the house or, or spray paint the house or garage door or break a window or something like that from, a, from an intimidation or to create fear or something to that effect. Joining me now is Dr. Ben Carson, former HUD secretary. Uh, Dr. Carson, the idea that activists will revolt in violence if they don't get their way with this trial and comments from a potential juror making that point, that's kind of terrifying, the idea of somehow getting a fair trial through all of this. Well, there's no question that uh, we have allowed the culture of intimidation. You know, the whole cancel culture, it's, it's part of intimidation, controlling people through fear. And uh, it is really a major responsibility of the government not to allow that to happen. You know, you look at something like freedom of speech and we say, well, of course we have free speech in this country because the government's not imposing a restriction. But if the government allows it to be done, it's just as devastating. And when you look at a trial and people are concerned about their safety, uh, that is a major problem. We need to deal with it. But we also need to recognize that this incident that occurred with George Floyd is a sentinel event in the history of the country. Why do I say that? First of all, this is not an everyday occurrence. Some on the left would have you believe that these kinds of things occur commonly. They do not. Uh, but if you want to push the narrative that we're systemically racist country, that everything has to do with race, go back to 1619, uh, could you imagine a more perfect scenario to do it because of the emotional content of, uh, of a situation like this? And, uh, you know, cooler heads have to prevail. Yes, it was a terrible thing. Yes, it should be tried. Yes, appropriate uh, measures should be taken against the police. Yes, police should learn from this. But also the community must be encouraged to be calm, to recognize that tearing up the, the livelihood of people who've worked all their lives to create businesses is not doing anything to promote your cause. And we need to start being sensible about this whole thing. Now, Ben Crump, who's uh, Floyd's uh, family attorney, I uh, said yesterday in an op-ed that a guilty verdict would show progress. Protesters in Minneapolis and elsewhere must observe the law, of course, but they shouldn't be afraid to show up. The Americans who took to the streets to raise their voices can claim significant responsibility for the progress we've made so far. Um, your response there's, there's no in progress. about 20 seconds. There's no progress uh, if we're resulting in violence, if we're destroying things. That's moving things in the opposite direction of progress. Peaceful protests, no problem whatsoever. That's a part of what America is all about. But we cannot tolerate uh, unwanted violence in a situation like that. It makes no Dr. sense Carson. whatsoever. Let's Dr. be sensible again. Yeah, Dr. Carson, thank you so much. Great to see you tonight.